Hello there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Here we are again on another job. Uh, where we are today I'm actually in uh, Bournemouth or between Bournemouth and Christchurch so uh, on a job over here and uh, what we've got today is we're going to be doing some decking over the next couple of days and a nice pergola in, in the middle. So we're going to be doing a lot of deck. It's quite a big area of decking. So we're just starting to prep the site and then we're going to get on with it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Press the uh, thumbs up. Really do appreciate that. And all the comments. So uh, look forward to sharing this with you and seeing where we go with it. So let's get on with it. So what I'm doing is, first of all, I'm just, obviously we're prepping the ground, but also I'm just cutting up the posts. They're gonna be 16 inches. Um, don't need to go as far into the ground. So then there'll be post creases into the ground at various points to create the subframe. So I'm just cutting up the, uh, the fence posts, the four by four fence posts, and we'll put them into the ground. So getting those prepped. So the first things we're going to do is we're just getting the posts in the ground get for the submarine. We've got one there, do the basic perimeter, one out there, one there, one there, and we're coming around here. There's quite a bit of concrete, so we've just got we're just breaking through concrete to get some uh, um, so we can get a good fixing. There's also concrete down the bottom of these holes. So there was was once upon a time there was possibly a wall there. Apparently, I found out that in the dim and distant past, this was a pig farm. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'll find some, uh, you never know, maybe some uh, bodies were disposed of. Who knows? Anyway, right, let's get on with it. Perimeter. Perimeter done. It's hot today. It is for the UK anyway. It's probably not maybe in some other places, but it's not been good weather. As you can see, just running around. So that's the uh, that's the perimeter done. Day two. <laughs> Wednesday the 18th of May. <laughs> I've only got a week, just over a week, and I'm going on holiday. <laughs> a nice holiday coming up. Um, so uh, looking forward to that. Uh, going on a cruise. Uh, me and my wife love cruising. <laughs> so we're going out to Southampton. Anyway, nice. But before I can get to my holiday, <laughs> I am going to carry on on the decking so more uh, foundational more subframe holes to build and we're going to get on with it so looks like a good day uh, ahead the weather's kind so let's do it So when doing decking, it's important to lay a membrane underneath. Um, so uh, important to get that in before the rest of the subframe goes on, otherwise it's going to be a real ball ache to get it under. So uh, then I can cut through for all the rest of the posts, but that stops any growth. Not that there would be under this ground, I don't think, but always just lay a membrane underneath the whole of the decking. Then you're going to get nothing or point 
five percent or something there really nothing will grow under there it can't grow so uh that keeps it away So uh, once you've got your perimeter and you know that is 100% level, level because you've made it level, then the centre essentially, the subframe in the centre is really much easier to dig uh, because uh, just stringing those across, those bars across, and then you can concrete the, the in. So you just, the easy way to do this is just to screw them in your post and then you can concrete them in, in situ and they'll be perfect. As you can see, level. So that's the easy way to do that. You just string your beams, you sent your beams across um, and uh, then you can put concrete in much, much easier. And it's not leveling up between posts because the whole perimeter is level. So just an easy and quicker way to do decking. There's a lot of concrete uh, here, which I'm breaking up, uh, just with an SDS. The irony is I'm having to break through concrete to fill it up with concrete. <laughs> there is a strange irony in that, isn't there? To put the posts in and fill it up with concrete, but that's what you've got to do. Making it a little bit harder to dig the holes, but we'll get there. Day three. Day three on uh, on the build. So here we are. We're back. It's a Saturday morning, um, and I've got uh, Henry with me again this morning. So it's all good. So we're going to do carry on, finishing off the uh, the subframe, digging a few more holes, and then we're going to start the decking. So it's good. Let's get on with it today. So we just finished the subframe. So important that you backfill um, all where we've concreted in the post because what we don't want is little reservoirs of water underneath. However shallow, we don't want reservoirs of water because uh, that can cause the timber to rot. So uh, what we want to make sure is it's all properly backfilled on the posts, in the foundations, and then we're all good. And then we're going to start building the, uh, no, um, around there, there it is, it's leaning up against a tree, just behind Henry. We're going to start setting out the pergola and uh, getting those posts in.
Monday the 23rd of May. Here we are, we're back. Gonna carry on another day of building. <laughs> so, nice decking, pergola. Uh, we're gonna get on. Lots of decking today, gonna carry on with that and finish. So we're, we're, we're doing nicely, good structure. So uh, enjoy. So I laid this, uh, so we laid the, uh, the middle section of the decking. Um, in doing that, it enabled uh, to get, so we get the same distance with the posts. So when we come to all the posts for the pergola, then it looks right. So there's a balance between aesthetics. It's got to look aesthetically correct, but also it's got to be square. So, but it's not a perfectly square construction because it's well you can see i'm following the contours of the garden so that doesn't uh, uh, to, to fit where it's going so um we laid that and then once you're on the decking it will look correct so that was just as important if not more important that it follows the eye and you don't think oh no that's going off at a funny angle uh, because you've got the lines um so that's what we've done there and the same for the uh, structure of the pergola. So we get on with it and we've got more to do. They're concreted in, all the posts are concreted in. So it's gonna be a good day. Um, when you're on the edge of these, always make sure you just pre-drill the end ones. You don't have to be any of these because they're internal, but because it's on the end of the timber, it can split. And splitting is not a good look. So just have a drill, just pre-drill, just the ends. If you can see all the joints there, then there's no splitting. Um, you can see on that one, they're just pre-drilled. Um, makes life a lot easier and the end result is much better yeah it's a bit you know it's a few seconds longer on each on particularly on the end ones but the end result is better so uh, pre-drill and uh, I have a video about that so <laughs> go go and find it somewhere on uh, on my channel Good morning, Tuesday the 24th of May. Um, yesterday afternoon was a quick pack up yesterday, rain stop play. Um, so we had to quickly get all the tools out of the rain. We don't want tools getting wet, do we? Rather ruins all, the, all your stuff. Anyway, the weather's gonna be good. Um, under a flight path here, near Bournemouth Airport. So lots of jets going over. So I had to just wait, because there was a jet roaring, a private jet um, just roaring over the over the uh, horizon there anyway we're gonna carry on with the deck in and then we will uh, see where we get to today so hopefully a good day the weather will hold out and not rain me off <laughs> let's get on with it
finished. And looking resplendent in the sun. <laughs> this is the perfect weather for, for an entertainment space, entertaining space. So importantly, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with what I've done. Most importantly, the customer is <laughs> ecstatic, really, really happy. So they can't wait to start using it and they've got plans and other plans to do some other things on here. So uh, exciting, really excited for them. I'm really pleased to have done an amazing job for them. So as you can see, pergola, it's all nicely done. Everything's cut in. I'm just standing down here so it all just goes along there underneath looking nice and just looking around the back from the back towards the house that is a nice space and then we'll just come out and get a side view so you can see it in all of its glory we're really really pleased That creates a really nice angle there. So that's the decking and pergola built. So uh, thank you for watching everybody. Please share uh, the video, who knows? And uh, please like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, uh, click the thumbs up and click the uh, subscribe button and uh, really appreciate that. Comments, I love engaging with you out there. So uh, lots of things, uh, if you've got lots to say. Um, any questions, um, it's really been, it's just lovely sharing this with you. And uh, it's been a really pleasant build, I have to say. Uh, the, the weather's been kind. It's just been a chill build. Um, so about four and a half, four and a half, five days. Um, so very happy so all it remains is to say from me mark at the small workshop adventures take care everybody bye